Hello, quick introduction from me. Comment your thoughts down below. Tell me right now before you watch this video how much you enjoyed this banging episode. Um, yeah, and get ready for some good waffly thoughts about Rogue. <sighs> this series, man, is just... Oh, this is is a series that is just doing so many different vibes and you know obviously sorry i've i've started that this review really weirdly hello i really enjoyed the episode this series has a lot of vibes and this to me you know along with the bridgeton vibe felt felt you know quite it, it was quite rtd1 in its style in a really nice way even though weirdly it wasn't written by rtd had so many cool ass elements, and yeah, I absolutely loved this. I, I I think this is up there with one of my favorite episodes of the series. For me, on initial watch, I don't think it's quite boom. I think boom really like did stuff for me. Um, but yeah, I think that might be my second favorite. Like because which which you know isn't isn't a fantastic look for Russell. Look, I like like I love Rusty Davies. I think overall his show running and his vibe building is very very good, but you know, I I will be completely honest and give credit where it's due to Stephen Moffat and Bryony Redman and Kate Heron because they have delivered for me my favorite episodes of the series so far until a series finale because if that series finale is epic and does some cool things then I'm, I'm 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 totally down because i love a big epic series finale that's oh, I just, I just love doctor who and it's back and it's it, it, it's really really good stuff let's talk about it because that was the gayest episode of doctor who i have ever seen that was filled with just queer joy with Shooty, again, smashing it. Like, like people earlier in the season were like, oh, shoot, he's like already become my favourite Doctor. And I'm like, guys, guys, it's, it's, it's a little early to make those kind of comments. My God, he's he's not going to be my favourite. He never, never is because David Tennant, I, I grew up with the man. But, wow. That. Shooty out with just knows what he's doing. Millie smashing it. Jonathan Groff setting himself up for a return. That's, that, that's all I'm saying is I feel like that that was dangling a little Jonathan Groff return, which I wouldn't say no to after that episode. Whew, that was, was good. Oh, that relationship just oh, it was it was just good. And I think I think it's just, you know, it's Shooty's Doctor is just such like a free vibe and it's just oh I I love I love it. I love it. Um the plot. The plot was silly and dumb and really camp but i think that's okay like like sometimes you get those episodes that are like a bit silly like this is how people i think a lot of people viewed space babies you know it's a little bit too silly for them whatever i personally really enjoy space babies but people found it a little bit too silly they did their own thing and then they just kind of bend it off but like this like when you've got like really good performances little elements of story some things get people hooked the story's a little bit silly and campy People get on board with it, and I think I definitely get on board with it because it's Doctor Who, and if there isn't a little bit of campy silliness, to me it isn't always Doctor Who. But uh, that, 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 that segment of this video was just me saying I like camp Doctor Who. So, subscribe! Woo! I, I, I'm, 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 I'm so good at, at, at reviewing things. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I genuinely have a lot of love for this story. This this story also does. Oh, quickly before I say, uh, well done uh, for quickly editing it to um at include the William Russell tribute at the end. R.I.P. Doctor Who legend. Mwah, you are a beautiful, beautiful human being. The Schalke Doctor is canon. Um and 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 not not that it was really necessary. Well, well, not not that it wasn't canon, but like Ruth Doctor included in RTD two. But yeah, Rich D. Grant as the Schalke Doctor was was included in the in in the spinny heads. And Russell knows what he's doing with us fans. And no, I don't think this suddenly means that Rich D. Grant is going to return as the Schalke Doctor. But. I, I, I've never actually seen his, his his stuff, I won't lie to you. But it's it's an interesting development, and fair enough. Russell wants to mess with the fans, and he can do that. 
he's he's well within his rights, but pff, that was trippy and a bit and, and a bit strange. And I didn't actually spot it until I saw it on Twitter. But you know, so so thank you, Twitter, for doing that. Also, comment down down below all your thoughts. I've been having some lovely um lovely chats with some Doctor Who fans recently um about 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 their thoughts after the episode. So that's lovely. So let's 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 keep that up. Sorry, this review is so scatty. I had a comment after my last review, basically going, oh, you look really tired in these reviews. And I'm like, yes, because that's one of the big negatives here, is that Russell makes me watch these episodes at midnight, and I'm a bit tired. But, yes, let's continue talking about the episode. Injury of Armour is fantastic. The Bridgerton vibes, it's just... Oh, I really can't talk about how much I loved this episode. I just think, oh, there was just so much fun to be had here and little little tech things and just the in, like the design of the TARDIS when like Ro came in and like the colors and I think that's the strength of that TARDIS is that it's like a white background but it can be more than white with like with like the panels doing cool colory things and that was and the sexual tension in some of those moments oh it was it it was fun it, what what did I not like oh, oh if someone wants to explain something to me um how, how how come Ruby's feet were very locked, yet somehow in the end, Jonathan Groff managed to, managed to get back in? That bit confused me. People are always really nice and explain to me the things that I don't pick up on in, in, in the things. So, so I, I was a bit confused because suddenly one second Millie Gibson was in, one second Jonathan Groff was able to like nudge her out the way and then go, yeah, I'm, I'm, now, in, I'm now in the thing. And fair enough, like, like I rate it. Like that was, especially because the way I thought it was going was going to be... Ruby gets put into this dimension and then the Doctor goes and finds her in the next episode. I thought that was the way it's going to go. And that was a very good... Because I was gonna say one of my negatives for this episode was that was that the the, the ending... I, the ending, I don't, I don't know. The ending was kind of going into ha ha ha, we're now all evil bird people. Even though, again... I didn't really mind it too much. It was, it was, it was silly camp fun. But then, you know, we had, we had the nice, nice emotional stuff. That's, I don't, I don't know. If I had to nitpick, the episode goes slightly too quickly from it's really silly and really camp. And then suddenly this is really Millie Gibson and, we're, and, 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 she, and she's going to die. And I, and I get it. And I, I get that they went for the twist thing, but especially with the quite, quite like comedic way they then did the, like I'm like the Mike Millie Gibson like fights the random bird thing that that they, they gave the creature a name, but um the the way they went from that straight to oh my god Millie Gibson's gonna die mate um that's yeah I should keep I should call her Ruby why why do I keep calling her Millie Gibson uh but yeah apart from that there was slightly a tonal issue there and sometimes yeah maybe you could argue you got a little silly I'm still gonna give that a very very solid nine out of ten sorry I completely lost my my train of thought. Yeah, no, that was my that was my Doctor Who review. Um, like, subscribe, comment thoughts down below, please. Thank you.